everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. This is episode 28. Um, and we are, I hope, just gonna go have a nice chat and not a big fight. Hey, it's not. This fucking song. I warned you to leave this place. Now you're gonna be very sorry you didn't listen. We never listen to the leader of the Shadow Dragon cult. Okay, 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 okay. Even if... I gotta, I gotta do the hand thing. Even if, by some bizarre imagination, Gene was like, yeah, these kids could totally still be a part of the Shadow Dragon cult. Which seems... Ugh, like, insane to me. Jean herself was like, the Shadow Dragon cult leader is, is always masked. Never shows his face, because he's a coward, right? You've only ever seen Null not masked. Why would you assume that he is the leader of the Shadow Dragon cult? We're here to save these poor kids from your evil influence. You think I'm what? You're the ones from the cult. Not only are you evil, you're also amazingly stupid. The original Sega CD version of the song lacks the weird vocal or instruments thing. Like, it's very... Kind of creepy, I guess? Wait just a minute. This isn't making any sense. Master Lun told us that you were tired of hearing your lies. Defense Squad, now! Nice. Ah! This net is crushing the life out of my beautiful hair! A little more worried about the way it's bending my wings! Ow! Get them, kids. Whatever your plan is to do to us, pal, you'd better think again. You should have given my warning some thought before you decided to follow me here. I don't need to hurry. The dragon kids will keep you here until I decide what to do. Lock them up. The dragon kids. Get out of here. Let me out of here at once. This is no way to treat the junior premier of the magic guild. Those kids called Nal their, their leader Nal. I'd call him Nob. Clever, Ruby. And why did he say that we were from the cult when he's the cult leader? I don't get it. There's something I noticed while the little munchkins were so effectively humiliating us. Gene said, this is something that you noticed? This is something that you just... Huh. Hmm, I noticed this strange thing. Yeah, he's not wearing a mask. Obviously. <laughs> I can't I can't handle it. My my brain just will not compute. Gene said that the leader of the cult wore a mask, but Nal was barefaced. Interesting, no? Very interesting. Well, Gene, you think the masked man has ditched his gimmick? I honestly don't know if it's the masked man or not. My hunch is that it isn't. The slaves of the cult had broken spirits and dark hearts. The children who caught us might be the happiest kids I've ever seen. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's not what Master Lun told us it was. No, it's not. Hey! Let's... Save here. You know, I'm not usually one to mind a good spanking. When it's a bratty bunch of boogerheads swatting my bottom, I get kind of pissed. Who trained those kids to fight? They're not members of the cult. These kids don't look or act like they're part of the cult, Hero. They're typical brats. So who's their leader, and why did he bring them here? Uh, I mean, their leader is Null. He already told you he's their leader. why did he bring him? bring them here? Because they're orphans. And this is some half-Lord of the Flies shit. He's Peter Pan. I don't know what to tell you. 
Oh, she knows, right? It is truly Null. I can sense the power within him. But what is he doing here? And why is he with these children? I don't have the time to try and make sense of it. I must find the goddess Althena. Oh, oh, slow your roll. Don't get all... I'm leaving again on us. These kids are a little bratty, but they're not mega naughty. And they're good fighters. I bet some of them could become the leaders of the Magic Guild when they grow up. Why do you have dollar signs in your eyes for that one? These brave little kids would be great recruits for the Magic Guild, don't you think? The mass leader of the cult was here. He would have ordered these kids to kill us. They haven't used any sort of martial arts or deadly force. He has a timeshare to sell those kids? Holy fuck. Yeah, that would be Lamina. All I want to know is what they're going to do with us now that they've got us. All I want to know is whether or not I have to kill myself. What the fuck? Ron that got dark, Ron Far. After getting my butt handed to me by a mob of peewees. I don't think they're going to harm us, Ruby. These children aren't members of the cult. The children of the cult were always covered with bruises, and they never smiled. These children are so alive. Even when they were attacking us, you could see them smiling. So that means Master Lun lied to us. But why? I don't know if he lied, Lamina. Maybe his advisors gave him the wrong information. We could come up with theories all night, buckaroos. How about we just get some sleepy beepy and... Sleepy beepy? Fuck off, Ronfar. Also, the Odie came back. Yes, sir, he did. Came back. Does he get a, does he get a treat for that? Does he get a secret treat for that? I think he does. <laughs> Are you looking back there to see if there's a lipo? Lipo over there. What he sound like? Crunchy heel. Good boy. Good boy. How about we just get some sleepy BP and see what happens in the morning? Ronfar's word choice is a little goofy, but he's right. We could all use the rest. Good night, everyone. May all your dreams be filled with fish. Why would you curse me with that? Uh, we're the only ones not out. About time you woke up. I was just about to dump a bucket of cold water on you. All your other friends have been up for hours. Come on, help us work. There's plenty to do. Excuse me? Is that how this works? Are you putting us to work? Ron Farr's cooking. Oh, love it. Got some dancing going on. Start talking to people. Please don't bug me. I'm watching that old man to make sure he doesn't put anything in the food. Look at his face. You can tell what a weirdo he is. I mean, he is a weirdo. Yes. There we go. Wow, you're good, Ron Farr. I didn't think you had a talent for anything besides gambling. You love that they made a special Ron Farr sprite just for him cooking? Absolutely. They, they, there's a lot of extra love and attention put into these sprites. I really, I really do enjoy that. Let's just say I've had to prepare breakfast in bed for a few overnight guests. Actually, this reminds me of the times that Leo and Mari used to come over to my house. I'd make this I'd make us a huge meal and we'd stay up all night eating and talking and laughing. Need something, Chief? Oh, you're looking for Lucia? Surprise you don't know, buddy. You normally keep an eye on her, don't you? I think she got put in charge of entertaining the younger kids. Can I ask you a question? Okay. I kinda wanna pre what kind of present would a boy be happy to get? Sometimes Gnaw has a really sad look on his face, almost like he's lonely. So I'm going to give him a present to cheer him up. Think he would like a bouquet of flowers? Gnaw's going to like any present you give him, because it shows how much you care about him. Questionable. 
Whatever I decide to give Null, I really hope he likes it. So you come to kidnap us. Think again, jerks. We won't be taken alive. If you try to capture me or my little friends, I'll push you real hard and you'll fall on your butt. Okay. I feel so threatened. Did you see the bottom of the barricade at the bottom? Or did you see the barricade at the bottom of Tabin's Peak? We built it all by ourselves. Isn't it cool? In fact, we built everything in this fort, including the seesaw and the slide. That's pretty intense. It, oh, hold up. I completely forgot this. Isn't Tabin's Peak the grindery? The remnants of the grindery? Yeah! Holy shit! I forgot about that! It just, like, clicked in my brain. I was like, you you little fuckers didn't make this whole place. And, and then I was like, oh, shit. I know what this place is. <laughs> nice. Hell, hell nice. There aren't any grown-ups here. It's just a bunch of little kids and a few big kids. We all get along, but we don't act like a real family. At least, I don't think we do. None of us really knows what a real family is. There are... Oh, nope. It does the same thing. When I was a little kid, my mommy and daddy took me to the Midoriya Carnival. I remember eating a lot of candy. I remember laughing at all the clowns. But what I remember more than anything is watching Gene dance. Oh. He's amazing! Look at her spin around and around. I don't understand how she can spin like that without getting sick and yakking all over herself. That's fair. I don't know either. Do you know that Nall is famous? Even my mother and father knew who he was. Before they died, they told me to come to Tabin's Peak if anything happened to them. You see? They knew that Nall would find me and let me become a dragon kid. I feel like this is like successive generations of dragon kids. You know? What? My mother and father knew who Nall was, but when I try to ask Nall about it, he just ignores me. I guess Nall doesn't like being famous? I probably wouldn't like it very much either. Signing autographs for people would be fun, though. I'm a little tired, but there's no excuse for me not to dance my absolute best. As long as there's an audience, I'll be there to perform for them. Makes me feel alive. So how do I look? Am I still in shape or am I sagging in all the wrong places? What the fuck? Again, game, you're too horny. What is it, hero? Uh, no, I haven't seen Lucia around. Where could she have gone? Oh, I remember now. She went upstairs to watch some of the younger kids. Fair enough. Papa? Oh, you're not Papa. Papa went to the ocean to catch fish and sell them at the market, but he never came back home. A big white bird found me and brought me here. I wish the bird would find Papa. The the big white bird was a was Null in dragon form, wasn't it? <laughs> Fucking wasn't it? Big white bird was definitely Null in dragon form. Yeah. All right. Do we go out or do we go into? Ooh, okay. No one is allowed through here unless Nall says it's okay, and I never disobey Nall. Never! Why are you laughing? Being a guard is an important job. I'm laughing because you're the cutest guard I've ever seen. Keep up the good work. My friend and I were assigned to guard this post by Nall, and we won't let him down. It's really boring to just stand here all day, but Nall says we'll get a great reward. Hope it's a lot better than the last reward we got. I never did like yo-yos. What?! Get the fuck out. You know you saying yo-yos. What's wrong with you? Sorry, but the gondola is closed to everyone except dragon kids. If I took you down to the bottom and you escaped, Nall would have my head. You just promoted me from dishwashing duty, and I ain't going back. If you want to get out of here, go ask Nall yourselves. Nall gives the order, gave the order to keep you here, and I ain't going to go against him. This gondola is staying put, and so are you. Now leave me alone. You just... You just... Eat your... 
beat you up and take the gondola. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Hey, you loafer. Why aren't you doing your chores like the rest of your companions? That blonde girl has been complaining all morning, but at least she's working. Here, I have a new chore for you. Convince her to be quiet. Yeah, right. You might as well ask me to pull the blue star out of the sky. At least pretend to be doing something. If Null catches you goofing off, I'll get in trouble. I don't what? Oh, is she cleaning? It's Lucia's voice, and it's coming from upstairs. I don't want to go that way. Null? Why are you the only one here? What are you talking about? This place is full of children. You did notice them, right? Null. You know what I'm asking you. Why are you the only one here? Stop giving me grief, lady. Why'd you... Wait. Wait a minute. You're... Lucia. From the Blue Star. Aha! <laughs> Shit. I'm the junior premiere of the Magic Guild, not a babysitter. This is an outrage. I hate kids. All they do is cry and whine and poop and fight. This is all because of that brat and all. As soon as we save those kids, he's getting a spanking. Yeah, I love kids when their parents take them far away from me. I, I feel like I can agree with uh, <laughs> Lamina most of the time. Boy! Boy! Oh, what do you guys want? You should go away before Nal sees you and gets mad. Why is he going to get mad? Oh, shit. Didn't you stupid grown-ups understand? This is the hideout of the dragon kids. Adults aren't allowed here. Not now, not ever. We're always thinking of new traps to keep grown-ups out of here. Don't try anything sneaky or my friends and I will kick you right out. Doesn't matter what you grown-ups try to do, we always figure it out. Grown-ups think they're so much smarter than kids, but they're not. They're just bigger than we are. I mean, you know, sometimes it do be that way. There's a really big bird that lives at the top of Tabin's Peak. It's very pretty and very white. When I first came here, I was really lonely and I'd cry a lot. The bird would play with me and let me ride on its back. It was very soft and comfy. I haven't seen the bird in a really long time. It must be real, though. It wasn't a dream, was it? You know what? They say that if you make a wish on the blue star, your wish will come true. So I made a very, very important wish last night, and now I'm just waiting for it to come true. All right, then. When I was a little kid, I wanted to grow up as fast as I could. I spent most of my childhood planning what I would do when I was an adult. Now that I'm bigger than Nall, it's time for me to leave here. Now that I have to go, I wish that I could stop time. I wish that I could stay here forever. Oh, it's sad. It hurts. <laughs> when I think of how much I'm going to miss Nall and the kids, I have to hold in my tears. That's sad. Quiet. Shh. Baby is sleeping for the first time in a million years. You wake it up, I'm gonna have your hide. I'm gonna talk to that baby. Wow, what a cute baby, hero! I'm gonna pinch those fat little cheeks of his all day long. Get out of here, boomer! <laughs> oh no! His little hands are so tiny. Look at his chubby little fingers. He's just so cute. I want to get stronger and stronger so I can protect everybody. Too little. Where, where is everybody? Please grant my wish, Blue Star. Please don't let the cult catch my friends when we went to Moribia. Please protect my friends and bring them back here safely. Oop. Fucking every herb that I find in a treasure chest just hurts me. It, I'm just like... Ooh! Uh, every time I see a treasure chest, I'm just like... And then it's an herb, and I'm just like... <sighs> Yay. Free herb. Woo. <laughs> I should have a different... I should have a different tune for free herb. Wow, what a weird-looking cat. Can I touch it? Can I? Can I? You're not allowed to touch me, and I'm not a cat. 
I'm a baby red dra- It's got feathers instead of fur. Wow, where'd you find such a weird cat? Ha! Ah! Hey, kid! Grabbing and pulling fall into the same category as touching! That's fun. Do you have any more cats with feathers? If you give me one, I'll give you a bag of marbles. I mean, I'll trade Ruby for a bag of marbles. Null is the wisest person in the world. He knows everything. Every day he tells me a new story about our world. Sometimes he talks about his adventures, and sometimes he tells me about the goddess. How does Null know so much about our world when he's just a kid like me? Because he's smart. Who are you? Are you friends of the cult? Leave here at once. Friends of the cult? Not us. We're not part of the cult. We're trying to stop the cult. Now calm down and take some deep breaths, okay? You might not be with the cult, but you're grown-ups, and grown-ups can't be trusted. The cult comes here and steals my friends away. I've never been able to stop them. It's gonna happen the next time they come here. Right. Now, let's see what's going on up here with Lucia and Nal. Why are you alone? What is Althena? Hero, we must find Althena quickly. I know, Lucia. No, are you going to say something? Good timing. I was just about to walk down to your cell and drag you out of bed. I have an important question for you, Hero. Is this girl really Lucia, Princess of the Blue Star? Yes, she is. She's one of the first- that's one of the first things she told me when I found her in the Blue Spire. Didn't quite believe her at first, but now I'm convinced. But... How did you know where Lucia came from? I don't think she would have told you. Huh. You think too much, kid. All you need to know is that I'm a lot smarter than you are. Just like me when I was your age, hero. All attitude and ignorance. <laughs> okay, look. Uh, Nal, you might have had a glow up, but you're still all attitude and ignorance. Maybe not ignorance, but you're still all attitude, so fuck off with that noise. <laughs> Kids are getting attacked by the cult. They're here. Nal, don't get into shit. Hero, let's talk after we find out what's happening. Come on. Let's go! Ooh, hold up. Is nope. Okay, I don't see anything. I was I was like maybe there's a secret treasure chest in here, but I don't see anything. Alright, we go. Talk to these kids. Colt is here. Who are they gonna take? No, oh, save me! Why are you standing around? Go find some place to hide. If those people from the cult see you, they'll take you away. Good. Where did you guys go? We've been trying to find you. We heard kids screaming from the direction of the playground. So did we. Where's Nall? He ran to the playground when he heard the screams. The look on his face was intense. Come on, let's go. Oh. I was gonna... Are we, are we going or are we just hanging out? Those bad guys have come here again, but our barricade should have kept them away. I have to hide before they take me to their lair and turn me into a monster. That's true. Scared, somebody help me! Are you crying? What's wrong with you? I thought you were a man, not a scared little girl. Fuck you, Ronfar. A real man never gives up, and he never surrenders to fear. He fights to the end. Yeah, I'm a man. I have to fight to the end. He's a child, Ronfar. Also, sexist as fuck. Hard pass. Never give up, never surrender. That I can accept. I'm really surprised at the, I always surprised at the flexibility this game gives us in where we're allowed to go. Because we can just continue walking and talking to anyone. Like, it's like, the direction you're supposed to go is this way. And it's like, but you can go wherever. They try to kidnap me, I'm going to yak all over them. Okay, that is the line of defense you should take. Help me, Nal. Uh, we're getting a lot of repeats. How did the Shadow Dragon Cult get through our defenses? Believe it, how did the cult manage to get through our awesome barricade? 
Must have dumped a bunch of really hungry termites on it. What the fuck? It's an emergency. The Shadow Dragon Cult is here. We have to protect the kids. Cult is here. Run. Paraphrasing. Not afraid. Those bad men show up. I'm not going to let them through. Not scared. Where's Null? Or I'm so scared. Where's Null? Have you seen him? Null! What? How did you get in? Couldn't have been able to find get this far without the gondola. Wait, wait, what? Okay, that's a weird... <laughs> that one didn't make sense. The other ones all mostly made sense. That one did not make sense. Nope. Alright. we take this uh, food? No? I tried. I do appreciate that we can walk through the kids. They don't body block us. Alright, I'm assuming we're going to have a fight here, but I don't remember the particulars. Hopefully we get a big fight, though. This is, I, it's been a while since we had a big fight. The last one was the missing link, and that honestly wasn't that bad. I say honestly wasn't that bad, but it was like half the fight was me reviving people. Put them down now! What a lively group of children you've assembled for me, Nal. I look forward to giving them the discipline they so obviously require. And teaching them to kill their enemies without remorse. Shadow Dragon Cult. Help us, Nal! You're nothing but a bunch of filthy cowards! Why don't you try taking me hostage instead of a group of helpless children? Because you're of no use to me. Uh, wrong accent. Blum's accent was... Uh, I can't, I can't remember. It's... All I can remember is faux 90s era Chinese. Because you have no use to me, you fool. You are an adult, unable and unwilling to learn. But these children are untainted, easily trained in the way of the Shadow Dragon Fist. It all just turned into a drag. Right? Like, absolutely. I have no idea why he hasn't just... Fuck around and find out, dragon. I guess, I guess, in fairness, if he, if he turned into a dragon and he tried to just openly fight these guys, it could risk the children more, and he, you know, he can't exactly breathe on the children without fucking them up, so. But still, right, like, why not, why not make his presence known? Be like, I'm the fucking white dragon, don't come after my kids, I'll kill you, right? There won't be any more of your training. There will only be my fist smashing your face. All right, Gene. I will spill your vile blood and end your unspeakable evil. Gene, you're alive. See, here's the thing. Again, this isn't the same mask. <laughs> That we saw in the flashback, so I don't know why Jean is like, oh, this is totally the guy. Don't worry, Jean. I shall train these dig children as diligently as I trained you. But it would be cruel to expect any of them to match your skills in the art of assassination. You're a student of the Shadow Dragon Fist? Farewell, fools. Come back. Come back! Uh-oh. He's gonna be mad at us. Bastards. Well, we didn't get to fight. Sadness here. How could I have been so damn careless? Should have known the barricade wouldn't have worked. It's my arrogance that those kids were taken. You're going to pursue the cult, aren't you? Please allow us to join you. I'll do whatever it takes to help you save those children. Help me? You're the ones who led the cult here. Or did you forget that I heard their leader singing your praises as he took the children? You don't understand, Nal. Jean was... I was kidnapped by the cult when I was a child. And I know what awaits those children. I don't want any of them to go through what I did, Nal. I don't want them to lose their souls. Please, let me help you. I want you to tell me the whole story, Jean. In fact, I demand to hear all of your stories. Follow me to my chambers. 
Yeah, because, I mean, kids just got kidnapped. There's no reason for us to be in a rush or anything like that. It's fine. You all have some crazy stories. I'll admit that. But I've heard crazier. I've decided to give you guys a chance to prove yourselves by sa saving the children. They still don't have complete trust in you. Can you really blame me? So here's what I'll do. While you're saving the kids, I'll keep one of you here as a hostage. Who should I choose? Uh, Lucia, please. And thank you. Or Ruby. Take Ruby. Keep Ruby. Please. Ah, we know he's gonna choose Lucia. <laughs> like, right? Nal literally has Althena's sword strapped to his back and he could have smacked him with it. He could have done any number of things, but again, games, especially, I mean, all stories, right? But especially video games and especially JRPGs, I find, overlook obvious parts of what a narrative could be for the conceptual... There's a, there's a, I'm taking writing courses in college, right? Um, there were, there were some, there were a couple professors, right, that taught me different bits and pieces about writing um, that kind of stuck with me throughout the years. And a couple of the things, one of the, one of the big, to, to, to cut through all of this, because I can be very long-winded, um, one of the biggest things that uh, several of them kind of like reiterated is the differentiation between like discovering a story and plotting a story, right? Because any of us can sit down on a piece of paper and go, okay, um, I have a beginning, a middle, of an, and an end of this story idea, and now I've got to plot out the points in between, right? Versus I have an idea for a story I'm just going to start writing and discover what the story becomes. Both of those things have their issues. Do not get me wrong. Most video games, though, are that plotted scenario. They're the beginning, middle, and the end. And you can tell by following their story that they are that situation, the beginning, middle, and end. Because a lot of times, writers for video games will have an, an, a concept of this is what happens at the end of the game. These are a few plot points that happen along the way, and this is the beginning. And then they force, right? They're like, okay, I'm at the beginning. How the fuck do I get from the beginning to this first plot point that I have? And so they will ignore other obvious opportunities or potentials, right? Developments in the story of their characters. They will ignore those points to specifically railroad themselves to that first plot point. And then from that next that plot point to the next plot point from that plot point to the next plot point right rather than having a concept of like oh i want to write a story about this with these characters let's just start writing and see what happens right um that is not to say that um the the just discovering a story as you're writing it is a superior version because <laughs> in point of fact that can lead to things where you can't really make a game out of that so like I was saying, there, there's pros and cons to both, but it leads to situations like this where it's like they can't have they can't have Nall jump into things, right? Because that that spoils the surprise later of who Nall is and what Nall can do and why Nall is important. And if Nall could just take care of all of the issues, why do we even need Hero or Ron Far or Jean or anything like that, right? So. But I do, I absolutely agree with you, 100%. Um, I wish, I wish games, I, I say I wish, there are a lot of games like this one from an era where I don't, like, it, I find it so funny. Oh, God. I've gone off on a tangent. I apologize. I, I, I promise this won't take, take long. I find it so funny, right, that... So often, people will, when talking about um, RPGs in the 90s and early 2000s, right? People will talk about how they don't make stories like they used to anymore, right? That games used to have used to have to have good writing and stories to be good, right? You know. <laughs> 
But, in, in point of fact, most of that is just nostalgia talking for most of us. If you go back to a lot of games like this and you you script them all out, right? Like you pull all of the text that they have and you put it on a piece of paper and you just read through it. Most of the time, the stories are full of plot holes, full of, of weird contrivances where, where it's just like, why is this happening? This doesn't make any sense. Or, oh, I see what's happening. The, the writers are just making this happen, right? Lufia 2 is like the ultimate, we have a beginning and an end planned game, right? Like, and don't get me wrong, I love these games. I adore them. Exactly. I still love it, right? But in today's modern era, writing for a game like that would not fly in any way, shape, form, or fashion um, like it did then. And there are pros and cons to that, right? I'm not saying writing in modern games is just absolutely better, but it is generally more refined and more um what's the word i'm looking for um more generally again right because there are standout bad examples um it's it's generally better fitted into the mold in which it is operating for instance i think you could take something like Lunar 2 um, and give it to a team of modern writers and say, hey, keep the story the same, right? But write this and you could have an almost identical game or rewrite this and you could have an almost identical game, right? With a far more refined story. To point of fact, you could have reasons why Null doesn't reveal his true form. You could have reasons built in, baked into the game, right? Um, you could have more episodes of foreshadowing and hints about why things are happening in certain ways that they're having. Obviously, you could refine the, the working designs um, issues. We'll just say that, right? The use of shitty language and the weird cultural references all over the place. Like, that's easy enough to refine. But I think a modern team of writers can... It's not that they can do a better job, right? It's is that we... One, we have more space on discs and things like that, right? Like, we're able to create more text without any issues. Um, but also, we have a differing viewpoint of what we want to use text in modern games to get across. Um, there's more emotion used in text in this day and age. Whereas a lot of old games is purely like conversational. If that makes sense. It's purely dialogue a lot of the time. Anyways, moving on. Um, I have a lot of opinions about writing in video games that I could talk at length for for, for many, 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 many long hours. What? Okay, kids, say hello to Miss Lucia. She's going to be your babysitter for a while, okay? Why don't you show Miss Lucia the playroom? No, why have you chosen me? What are you thinking? Don't you have any compassion, Lucia? These poor kids just saw their friends get kidnapped. They need someone to comfort them. They need you. Hero. Don't worry, Lucia. We'll save the children and be right back. Please hurry, hero. Your world moves closer to destruction with each passing moment. That sword does look really cool on his back, though. Lucia will be fine, unless you decide to run away instead of saving the kids. We've done some investigation of the cult. We think that their hideout is somewhere in the sewers beneath R Meribia. A long time ago, you could enter the sewers from Ramus's shop or Lund's dojo. Underground sewers. Quite a fitting location for a group of vermin like the cult. Let's go save the children. Indeed. Didn't you hear me the first time? The Shadow Dragon cult is hiding in the Meribian sewers. There should be an entrance to the sewer in Ramus's shop in Lund's dojo. Your job is to get into the sewers and save the children. Now beat it. All right, here we go. Um, 
to be fair to Nal, he has over a th he's over a thousand years old and all his friends are gone and the goddess he was supposed to serve is also gone. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I'm not like super nitpicky about it or anything like that. I just know that it, I, I played, I've been replaying so many old games that I have a lot of nostalgia for that it's like, I, I've just come to identify certain things that I'm like, oh, you could, you could change this and this and this and this would be a significantly better game, right? Um, Null, Null, I think is perfectly fine in the instance of Small Fry, truth be told. I'm scared, Miss Lucia. What do we do if the cult comes back to take away the rest of us? Miss Lucia, I'd feel much better if you gave me a hug. This is such a, like, humanizing moment, I think, for... I wonder, actually, I don't remember, but I do wonder whether or not Null did it intentionally. Because, like, he identified something in Lucia as, like, needing... Oh, she needs some more, like... She needs some more time to bake. <laughs> to get a little, like, less crappy. You know? A hug. Is that some sort of candy? I'm sorry, but I don't have any. <sighs> and then her heart melts. This is a hug? Of course, silly. Whenever I get a hug, I feel warm and safe. It's the best feeling in the world. Miss Lucia, will you sing me a song? I want to hear a lullaby. Please, 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 please. Oh, you mean the magic which makes tiny humans fall asleep. I'm sorry, children, but I don't know any lullabies. It's just attacking her. Is this all right? Yes, Miss Lucia. You're very warm and you smell good, too. Hero, you must hurry and help the children. I have to complete my mission. So I feel strange in the presence of these children. I've never played with them before. Children before, so I do not know how to amuse them. These children seem quite amused by Ronfar. Perhaps he could give me some advice? We must meet with Althina soon. While you are gone, I will try to determine how to play with these children. Just do what most parents do, Lucia. Ignore them. If they start to get on your nerves, give them noogies. That'll shut them up quick. That's great parental advice. Ruby, thanks. The fuck? Alright, let's get out of here. I want to go beat some Shadow Cult members up. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to save all your friends, okay? Really? Okay. I'll stay here and I won't cry, I promise. You can cry. That's fine. Don't cry, little guy. You need to be strong or girls will think you're a wuss. Ah, uh, stereotypes. This game is so bad with them. Ah, uh, I'm not even going to dignify that. I'm going to save my friends, aren't you? Then use this gondola. We'll take you all the way to the bottom in no time at all. Sounds great. I'm aboard and hang on. I'm in it to win it. It's so... Uh, this game... This game... I need this game remade. Or... Or remastered. Like, you don't even have to do a remake. Just do a remaster of this game and clean up the language. Please. Like... Mwah. Instantly, like... 92% better. Because so far, this game is exactly what I remember it to be. A charming, engaging, um, a little RPG with a little, maybe too much focus on the, the hmms and the hmms. Uh, <laughs> it's a little, this, this one's a little horny. Um, but that's fine. It's just, it's got such, like, era-specific shitty language to it. But I just need fucking gone. Alright. Into Ramus's shop, we try. First and foremost. You know what? Actually, this is a pretty good place for us to go ahead and end this episode. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. Where do you keep playing? If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time for more Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. Bye-bye,
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.